Hello everyone, today I'm going to do a review of a 2023 Cadillac Escalade V Blackwing. It's a Geo! Just kidding, it's a 1993 Geo Tracker. Some of you must be wondering, what is the Geo brand? Well, let me explain. Geo was a brand of compact cars marketed by General Motors under its Chevrolet division from 1989 to 1997. Geo only consists of rebadged Japanese cars and no cars of its own. This car is a rebadged Suzuki Sidekick. The Geo Metro is a rebadged Suzuki Cultus. The Geo Prism is a rebadged Toyota Sprinter. And the Geo Storm is a rebadged Isuzu Impulse. And the Geo Spectrum is a rebadged Isuzu vehicle as well. Here is a weird thing about the Geo Tracker. Before the Geo Tracker was introduced in Canada, it was sold under as the GMC Tracker, a Pontiac Sunrunner, and a Suna Sunrunner, which I find is pretty redundant to me. When the Geo brand was discontinued in 1997, it was replaced by the Chevy Tracker until 2004, where it was replaced by the Chevy Equinox and Saturn View. Just like the Chrysler PT Cruiser, how it's classified as a light truck, the Tracker is classified as a light truck due to its off-road capabilities and body and frame construction. Both the Tracker and the Metro was made in GM's Cami plant in Canada. Today, the Cami plant is where the Bright Drop electric delivery vans are made. Here is the back of the car. As you can see, there are seats there. But it's so small that I can't fit there. With the seats removed, you could get a decent cargo space from here. Here is a pretty cool feature of the door. You close the door with small force and it closes completely. As you can see on the passenger side, there is a long grab handle there. So you can hold on it just in case you're going on a harsh ride or something like that. Since this is the convertible version, you can remove the soft top for open air experiences if you want. Let's go to the driver's seat. Here is a gauge cluster. Not too much. Some of these models has a tachometer. The AC sort of works. It's just that there's some minor touches on it. This car is powered by a 1.6 liter four cylinder that makes 80 horsepower not impressive numbers but the geo metro on the other hand makes around 50 horsepower with pathetic performance like in the simpsons video lights the lights work but since the sun is high right now it will be difficult to see them Let's take a listen to the revs of this car. So that's it today for today's video on the Geo Tracker.